Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from CRT Designs and today I have a quick look at everything that I got in my crafty parcel and whether or not I found the parcel worth the purchase price. So I will have prices up in the top corner and uh, of everything that I got in my box and you can decide for yourself what you think and I'll give you some ideas as we go. But that is what we're doing so let's jump right in. And just a side note, guys, I did do my best with all the prices. Some things have been discontinued, so I had to kind of do some research to actually find the prices, but I think that I got pretty accurate, so let's jump in. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. So I finally got in the uh, Simon Says Stamp 2021 Black Friday Crafty Parcel, uh, and we're going to look at it and see if what comes in it is... Uh, makes it worth purchasing. So let's check it out. All right, so it comes wrapped in this really pretty dog print paper. And oh, there's the $5 coupon code. Valid until December 31st if you want to use it. All right, let's check it out. All right, cool. I already, <laughs> I have the orange paw. That's awesome. I have the uh, teal one that came out originally. So this is really cool. And I can have one on each desk. So I like that. And I got this really cool, um, I guess it's like a pencil case. A Simon Says Stamp. The, oh, but it's like pearl. I don't know if you guys can really see that. It's like a pearly. And then it has like shiny glitter. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Okay, cool. That's pretty neat. All right, let's dive into this stuff. <laughs> what is that? A Doris Timeless Mini. <laughs> That's cute. I don't know what I'd do with it, but it's super cute. It's decorative. I don't know what you'd do with it. Put it somewhere. That's pretty cute. And then I have a Nouveau Sparkle Spray in the color Lavender. Ooh, you guys know I love my sprays. So that is exciting. And here is a Stamp Timber exclusive. This is the Memory Box one, which I didn't get. So that's neat. I love the sentiments. Those are really, really pretty. Yes, yeah, so that's the True Friend Stamp Timber from Memory Box. Uh, and then I have some journaling stamps. Uh, I don't really do any journaling, but that's pretty neat. For, if somebody did, uh, you just add it into your journal from um, Studio Light, I think this is by. Well, that's pretty neat. And then what's here? Butterfly Blooms. Uh, by a, a bit more I think so it's got some sentiment stamps thinking of you and with sympathy and then some butterflies and some little flowers so that's pretty and then a studio light <laughs> those are cute Caribbean sea <laughs> look at the little images a little whale with a pirate hat that's cute oh there's like a whole set of them oh that's really neat cool <laughs> so if you wanted like a pirate or sea themed card, that's really neat. <clears throat> Ooh, I got a daisy die. Daisy stem by Simon. I love their dies. <clears throat> Excuse me, so that's always really exciting. Oh, shimmer flower die. I got a bunch of dies. That's really cool. Um, Merry Christmas. Oh, hey, well, this is going to come in handy. I might have to use that on next week's car. Merry Christmas die. Oh, and then a birdhouse. Oh, how pretty. Bitty birdhouse die. That's pretty. And then the uh, Simon Says Stamp. This is the rainbow is my favorite color. This came in a kit a couple of months ago. So I actually already owned this, but that's pretty neat. And then what is this? Doodlebug Design uh, Party Mix. I don't know. Is it, oh, they're rub-ons. Okay, okay, so there are like a bunch of rub-ons. It's a party mix, so I guess it must have like a bunch of, or this is just what it's showing you you can do with it. Yeah, so it's like they're rub-on letters, which is neat. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, background stamps, you guys know I love background stamps. Uh, this is the printmaking florals background, which I don't own, and this is uh, just came out a couple releases ago, I think, so that's really neat. Don't own that. Oh, stunning. Oh, let go. Okay, there we go. I, I actually bought this one. Magnolia background stamp. I actually do own this one, but still stunning background stamp. 
awesome geometrics. Here we go. I got a bunch of background stamps. Uh, this is the lantern pattern, another kind of geometric style. This is a stamp. Oh, it's this from the stamp timber release. Okay, so there you go. This was only in um, September, so. Oh, this one was not. Okay, so that was pretty new. Oh, that's pretty. The heart garland background. That'll be really good with Valentine's Day coming up. Um, the Drawn Daisies background stamp. I don't remember seeing this one, so I don't know how long ago that came out, but that's really pretty. You guys know I like my florals. Uh, here we go. This is XL Greetings 3. I don't think I own this. And you can never go wrong with sentiments, so that's cool. Oh, <laughs> I got another blend. This is so funny. So this is uh, the second or third little teal brush that I've gotten because they've come in some kits. And then I went and ordered the whole set. Uh, so <laughs> I mean, I have so many of the little teal one. That's really neat. I can use them with different colors. This is awesome. This set is uh, by Christina Warner and I seriously thought about buying it, but then I didn't buy it for whatever reason. So this is awesome. And it also has the matching die set. So that is awesome. I'm super, super excited about this. So this is the Furry Friends stamp, six by eight stamp set and the matching dies. So that's just amazing. And then uh, this is emboss. Oh, Roseville bouquet. And then you can kind of get a better image of what it looks like. But I love these. These are amazing. So that's really fun. I could color that. Oh, and this actually was in a Simon Says Stamp kit as well. So I actually do own this one as well, Garden Greetings. But that's a really beautiful stamp set. So maybe we'll have to do a giveaway or something on the channel once I get some stuff organized here. And then I got the Craft Stock Warm cardstock, which, I mean, you can never have enough cardstock. So that's awesome. So it's like the warm palette of cardstock. And whatever this is, uh, a mini precision press. Oh, it's like a like a stamp block kind of idea. I, I've never seen this. I don't know what this is. A acrylic block that can be used. Oh, I see. So it, it, it lines up so you can stamp directly in specific places, I guess. So that's cool. I mean, I own a Misty, so um, I don't know that I would necessarily use that. But it's really neat if you didn't. Like, that's a really cool idea. So that's everything that came in my box. I will, well, in editing, I'll add some prices so you guys know how much my box was actually worth. But uh, yeah, so that's everything that came in the box. I'm pretty excited about it. I think it was worthwhile buy, um, and I am probably buy it next year. Keep in mind, though, I do live in Canada, so uh, it did cost me 15 extra dollars in shipping for this parcel. So that is something to consider if you're Canadian as well. All right, guys, thank you so much. Bye-bye for now. So there you go. That is everything that I got in the box. It cost me about $85 USD to get it. It was uh, $59.99 for the box itself and then about $24.99 for shipping as I am Canadian. And I got about, what did it say? $380 USD worth of product in it. So I think that that was a pretty amazing box of fun stuff. And as you see, they no longer put in die sets that don't match a stamp set within the die. So, or within the box, sorry. So I think is a great purchase. Uh, let me know if you guys are thinking about buying one next year and keep your eyes out for a crafty giveaway. I have some stuff I've set aside. I think maybe beginning of the new year or end of this year, we'll look at doing something like that. So consider subscribing, leave me a like, leave me a comment, and I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.